Hey, Jets fan, hold on to your hats because here comes a bombshell. Breaking news just dropped, and it's going to get everyone buzzing. And of course, I couldn't wait a second to share all the details with you. If you're already subscribed, you know how important it is to stay up to date with everything happening with our beloved New York Jets. So don't waste any time. Let's get right to it. Jets fan, brace yourselves for this bombshell. The offseason moves are heating up, my friend. NFL insider Ari Marif from the 33rd team took to social media to reveal that the New York Jets are hopeful to extend Pro Bowl defender Hasten Reddick in the near future. Reddick, a brilliant addition this offseason, is about to cash in big time. The Jets snagged Reddick in a trade with the Philadelphia Eagles. They sent a conditional third round pick for 2026, which could become a second round pick if Reddick manages to reach double digit sacks and appear in at least 67.5% of defensive plays. Now, Here's the part that's going to make you jump for joy. Reddick is about to break the bank with the Jets. The guy is in the final year of his contract and is set to receive $14.5 million in cold hard cash in 2024. Several QB hunters have already secured big bucks this offseason. Four of the highest paid edge players in the NFL Inc. new deals in 2024, according to Over the Cap. Josh Allen of the Jacksonville Jaguars signed a five-year deal worth $141.25 million. Brian Burns locked in a five-year extension for $141 million with the New York Giants. Montez Sweat agreed to a four-year contract worth $98 million with the Chicago Bears. And Daniel Hunter landed a two-year deal for $49 million with the Houston Texans. Over the last four years, these players have racked up impressive stats. Hunter, 47.5 sacks. Burns, 38.5 sacks. Allen, 34.5 sacks. Sweat, 25.5 sacks. But what catches the eye is that, in the same period, Reddick has accumulated more sacks than all of them combined, with 50.5. You can see the guy deserves a hefty paycheck just by looking at the numbers. The average annual value of these new contracts ranges from $28.25 million for Allen, the second highest in the NFL, to $24.5 million for Hunter, the seventh highest at the position. If Reddick lands a deal between these numbers, it will be the highest annual salary in Jets franchise history. That will surpass Quinnen Williams' $24 million per year in his $96 million extension. The Jets have a very clear mindset in these negotiations with Reddick. They want to maximize Aaron Rodgers' championship window. Arod has already said he doesn't want this to be a one-time thing with the Jets. That means he'll be here in 2024 and 2025, and anything beyond that is speculation. Reddick is only under contract until 2024, so it makes sense to extend for another year or two to coincide with Rodgers' time with the Jets. They could also play the compensatory picks game, letting Reddick play out the final year of his contract. In this scenario, Reddick would be highly motivated to chase that last big contract. If he were to hit free agency in 2025, the Jets would have the chance for a high-quality compensatory pick in 2026. That could balance out the initial trade to acquire him. If Reddick signs the big contract with another team, the Jets would have the chance for a third-round compensatory pick, which is the same price they gave the Eagles for Reddick. Either way, this trade is going to be a win for the Jets. They acquired one of the NFL's best QB hunters for a third-round pick for at least one season and maybe more. That's fantastic. Go Jets!